Hello, second years. I wanted to make a quick video of how to use the MS chart when using it with a tablet controller instead of just your regular remote, particularly when you don't have a pedestal available. Here we are in the pediatrics exam lane in our clinic. You see the manual for Opter and no pedestal control our MS chart. I'm Dr. James Quindart for those watching this video elsewhere, and I'm an associate professor at Pacific University College of Optometry. So first thing we're going to do is look at Leah's stereo, and we've seen what this looks like before. When we're using the touch screen, we're going to want to go to the tab here in the middle called Media, and then you will see Leah's stereo right up here. And it should come up on our screen when we click on it. There it is. And of course, you've learned that this is a 291 arc second demand, with target number four being the answer, if you don't cover that up, as I've been known to do on proficiencies. So to change the demand on here, and also to see the answers in the upper left of the screen, you're going to want to use the up and down keys or the alt up and down keys. Either one will work. So if we, uh, we change it to, uh, to use up and down, we're going to see hitting down or alt down that the demand changes on our screen. And that works for either one of these targets. And uh, you do that until you reach threshold. So if you want to do contrast testing on this, you're going to need to go to the study tab on the tablet. And there it is. And the study tab um, should change us over to give us a different menu. It's just like a labeled remote. And you'll see when the glare is not on the screen, you'll see that there is a, um, at the top there, there's letter contrast, sign contrast, and there's also sign protocol with some instructions. So I'm going to go first to letter contrast. That's the easy one. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to see then low contrast letters, 2040 letters at 63% contrast. And this one might be easiest for you to control using you can use the tablet or the remote for this, either way. Many of you are used to using the parts of the remote that are the plus and minus on either side that will toggle both contrast and Snell and letter size. If you, um, if you use the tablet instead and you use correct and incorrect, you're going to see that the correct button will generally give you, um, it'll increase in Snell and size. The incorrect button will um, take you to a blank screen. So you don't want to do that. The alt up and down button is probably a better bet for you. And um, for Alt up and down, what you want to do is then change the contrast percentage. There it is going Alt up is going to change higher percentage contrast, and the Alt down button is going to change it to lower percentage contrast. And it does wrap around, so it should, if you keep just one finger on the screen, it should allow you to um, go from 100% contrast down to the lowest level, 0.5%. And boy, where are those letters? Very hard to see. So. Even if you make it now for peak contrast, if you make it up to the 2150 size, it may be difficult to see until you make the contrast greater. And we can go do that for a while. You can do this with the remote as well. Now you can see some letters on the screen. Final thing we might want to do is from the study tab, we may want to look at instead of um, instead of contrast now, and we may want to look at the sign contrast or the grading contrast, and that's going to be up in the middle there. So to change it to sign contrast, you want to hit this button. And at this point, you may want to switch to your remote for sure, because we have six cycles per degree, or 2100. We have 25% um, percent contrast, and we have four types of circles that may appear. If you hit the middle button on your remote, you'll get this cool animated elephant and things. And then I recommend going back to your tablet and going back to the study tab and returning to sign contrast, which you may have to do um, by going through the acuity screen. So if you want to go to uh, threshold contrast, you want to generally use your plus and minus keys here, which will change uh, the contrast to smaller stripes, or rather the, the spatial frequency to 18 cycles per degree or 2035 or so. And then you'll notice you'll need to increase the contrast in order to be able to see it at threshold. And the, the patient again will answer which direction the stripes are, two oblique directions, horizontal or vertical. There's more that you can see um, concerning contrast protocols, if you go to the study tab and you hit the sign protocols here, you'll then get to choose which age group you're working with, I'll say over 40, and whether you want glare on or off, uh, if glare is available on your MS chart. And then when you go past there, it's going to give you some instructions for the remote about how to answer. And you can actually use the remote to determine which way the stripes are going if you give it to the patient. Now it's not labeled at all, so the patient wouldn't know how well they're doing until they get one wrong. Okay, so that's all we have for today. Good luck on your proficiencies, and I'll see you in class.